Agriculture ranks among the most hazardous industries. This week, we highlight the important safety practices during National Farm Safety and Health Week. Joining us now is Progressive Agriculture Safety Day Program CEO Brian Cool. Thanks so much for joining us, Brian. Now, harvest, as we know, is a busy time on country roads. Talk about why rural road safety is a main focus during National Farm Safety and Health Week. Well, rural roadways are the place where farm equipment safety impacts farmers as well as non-farming traveling public. So we're kicking off the week to help notify farmers and non-farmers alike about the risks involved. According to a study conducted by the University of Iowa looking at rural vehicle crashes across nine Midwest states, they found that almost 1,200 crashes occurred in those nine states annually involving farm equipment. The most common crash involved vehicles rear-ending the farm equipment, and surprisingly, the vast majority of those crashes occurred during daylight hours and in clear weather. So ultimately, the safety concern is that difference in speed between a car and the equipment and that vehicle driver being able to slow down and safely match the speed of that farm equipment without striking them. Okay, so let's talk about some safety practices. Clearly, slowing down is on the top of the list there. But what else should drivers follow on rural roads in order to stay safe? Yes. So let's talk about the farmers. You know, there's a few things they can do before they even leave the farmstead or the field. The first one would be to check to make sure that their headlights and warning lights are in working condition and that they utilize both the warning lights and their headlights while traveling on the road, even during the daylight hours. Make sure you check all your slow-moving vehicle signs. They should be clean and highly reflective. Replace any damaged or faded signs and also clean off any other reflective tapes or signage. Now, many states have passed laws making it illegal to pass slow-moving vehicles in a no-passing zone. So as vehicle operators, you know, be patient. Wait until you get to a passing zone before passing any farm equipment. As equipment operators, we should not pull over in a no-passing zone to allow vehicles to pass unless the shoulder is wide enough for us to completely remove our equipment off of the roadway. Another area of concern is when we make left-hand turns with that equipment. As an operator, we need to be extremely cautious, use the turn signals, and don't assume the vehicles behind us know what we intend to do. And lastly, everybody, including the tractor operators, need to wear their seatbelts. Even in a tractor, the safest place for you to be in a crash is securely held in that tractor seat. You know, it's something you didn't bring up, but it's becoming more and more common as technology advances, and it's a biggie, is people on their devices, on their cell phones. We also need to make sure that you don't be, you're not distracted, especially at this busy time at Harvest. Is that something that you guys have been following as well? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, texting and driving, being on your devices, just being unattentive in your vehicle. No matter if you're driving a a car, a truck, an ATV, UTV, which many more of them are now being al allowed on uh, our open rural roadways, uh, as well as tractors and equipment. Um, we have been seeing some incidents uh, of tractor crashes, both in the field and on the roadway, from even tractor drivers being uh, on their cell phones or texting and driving. So, you know, the biggest thing we can tell everybody, no matter what you're driving, tractors, cars, uh, pickups, UTVs, ATVs, slow down. Pay attention, wear your seatbelt, and definitely do not text and drive. That's right. Don't break the law, pay attention, and you know what? Those two will definitely keep everybody safer. Progressive Agriculture Safety Day Program CEO Brian Cool, thank you so much for joining us and talking about some common sense that we all need to remember this time of year. And remember, we'll have more of those safety tips from the Progressive Agriculture Safety Day Program throughout the week right here on your Market Day Report.